Is my ship going through the ground? This does not seem like the best possible um, scenario for my ship to be partially embedded into the actual ground. Never seems like a good idea, but uh, to each their own. Hey everyone, I'm Mari Ray, and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. I've been playing this on stream, and I've been learning a lot. Um, thank you so much to everybody who joins the stream. Carnage and Anubis, you guys have been helping me out so much every time we play. But I still do have this world as well. I've been playing the expeditions on the streams. If you're interested in checking those out, you can. Uh, they're like a separate save, so... They've been fun, and I've been learning a lot, but we are back with this save here. And I think last we left off, I did not have launch thruster fuel. I should be good with that now, and uh, my ship is slowly being eaten by the ground. So let's go ahead and jump straight back into what we're up to. I think we were going to try to find who the patron was um, that has been, like, dropping us hints. So I should be able to go ahead and get that bad boy refueled since we were out of it before. And, uh... Let's continue on with our adventure and find the mysterious messenger that is uh, in space somewhere. So let's go ahead and take off with our fully capacitated thrusters, which, wait a second, um, I have been actually playing with, where is it? There we go. Now, here we go. We can see the ship. There we go. That's better. I, I like flying this way. It's a little bit easier for me because I'm dumb, and so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit easier. I have no idea where I'm going, so let's just get out into space, I suppose, and uh, try to remember not upside down. Okay, explore nearby planets in the galaxy. Search to access to engage the boosters. Where are we going? This way. This way. There we go. There we go. I think we need to go to the space station, yeah? Over here, and we should be able to pulse drive it, so bloom! Here we go. Hey, editing Mari. So, I spent like 15 minutes not understanding what I was supposed to be doing, and uh, I ended up just going to Google it, and I still don't think I understand what I was supposed to do, but I landed on you just... We'll try warping to another system or restart the mission. So I ended up warping to another system and that helped me make progress. But sorry about the skip, but there, there's 15 minutes of me having no idea what's going on. And I'm going to spare you guys having to watch that. So let's go make some actual progress. I guess let's warp to another system. I have no clue exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. So it says it's just like explore. So maybe we just go and look around until something happens. I'm a little confused. I tried to research it. I tried to look it up. I'm still confused. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. And I don't want to read too much in terms of like, you know, stuff. Because I will. Okay. I don't want to like, you know, do anything that could spoil stuff for me. So just going to casually drive around here an unknown planet undiscovered uh so i guess let's go there i mean i suppose you can see to scan it okay incoming message how do i how do i answer that your star kip communicator so incoming transmission is this what i've been waiting for source unknown you are not alone Please identify yourself. I'm Kh. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's identify ourselves. You left me. Kh. Why did you Kh. tell them you don't understand? Of course you'd say that. Of course you Kh. just like the others. Who am I talking to? There is no reply. The communicator falls silence, though the channel remains open. Oh. Okay. Coordinates received. Ha ha ha! That's what we were supposed to do. We were just supposed to warp. I literally spent 20 minutes. Uh oh. Hostile sub emergency comms established. Send substance space signal. Okay, strangers' coordinates? Uh oh. Let's get moving. Let's go. I don't know if I can fight. Pulse drive has been disabled. I have no idea how to fight. Oh, snap! Oh, crap. I have no idea the best way to do fighting here. Oh, man. Oh, cool. This is so much easier when you can see the ships, too. Oh, this is fun. Space battle, boys. 
space battle, boys. Should I just be fleeing or actually trying to fight this thing? Because I'm, I'm going for it. Buddy, what? Come on, let's go, let's go. We're in a space battle, my dude. Boom, son! Now what? Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Oh, cool. First space battle, boys. Oh, man. We are warlords. Ah, oh, that was fun. That was fun. Oh, new Corvax rank? I ranked up in the Corvax? How does that work? Test subject Murray Ray reached rank one with the Corvax. Is it because I destroyed this pirate? The, the dude? I mean, he started it. Not gonna lie. You, you come at me, man. You're gonna get it, all right? I don't know what you expected, but... I feel good that we beat that. Let's get to where we're supposed to be now. And preferably not upside down like we typically do on Descent's new planetary most toxic atmosphere. Okay. Well, that sounds like a fun, pleasant time. Yeah, this is, this is, this should be, this should just be great. A great time, completely fine with toxicity. Alrighty. We've successfully defeated our first pirates and made it to this place, so restore points saved. Alrighty, we're here. I'm gonna start scanning everything. I also learned very nicely that I can switch between modes in my visor, which I did not know before. So it used to just be that if it was like, you know, in the other mode, I would just be stuck there and uh, could never get out. But I've learned a lot from doing the, uh, the streams. So thanks again, again, for like the second time to everybody who's been helping me out, uh, learning all of that. This is an interesting looking planet. I, I, yes, I can see that. Um, but we need to track it with the visor here, so target a line this direction. Okay, we found it, guys. This planet's very squishy, so I don't know how I feel about that, but we found a ship that's broken. Are we gonna find whoever it is has been talking to us? Decode the stranger's signal. The signal appears to originate from a distress beacon. The ship's on fire. Are you guys just like us? Did you get stuck here like we did? Signal beacon, open by repairing the damaged components. Okay, we need chromatic metal. Sodium we have. Chromatic metal we should be able to get if we have a refiner. So uh, I think I need to make one of those. Is there anything else around that we could look at though before we get into that? Damaged machinery here. Um, let's just grab this stuff. See what we can find. Hello? Ooh, upgrade modules. Improve the specific technologies that you have already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules or at each space station. Upgrade modules are ready made and ready to craft. I learned a little bit about these again from the streams. I super appreciate uh, all the help that I've been getting through the streams. But yes, these. Oh, this is an upgrade to my life support system. Awesome sauce, let's do that. And I know I need to sit it right next to the life support system in order for it to kick in. So that's good. We've got it. Nice, nice. Oh, how do I get one of those passes? I I truthfully don't know. I'll have to figure that out at some point because I, I mean, I find all these things all the time and I don't know where to get an Atlas pass or whatever that is. Damaged container, let's open this up. What do we got? Some sodium and some oxygen. All right, so we need to work on getting um, new item recorded, a Gek Relic. Okay, that's nice. And I can't do anything to the ship, yeah? Nobody's in the ship. Can I get in the ship? Oh my goodness, it's so damaged. It's basically like destroyed, except for like the shield here. Wow. Oh my, it's so, it's so destroyed. All right. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, let's see about getting ourselves a refiner. I don't remember how to craft one. Did I de- I never deconstructed the one I made before, so we need metal plating. I might be able to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's take a look and see. Can I? Why did I not do that? I need to- I don't remember- I have a brain like a goldfish, you guys. Oh, okay, I only needed one. Perfect. Alright, let's grab the refiner, put it down. Uh, go ahead and fuel it with some uh, condensed carbon. That's fine. And we need to put cop. We need copper. We need copper uh, for chromatic metal. 
and I don't have any copper. So, let's, uh, let's take a peeky poo around for some copper, shall we? A copper. How do you like that, boys? A copper. Hello, ship, or broken ship. Let's go ahead and repair this beacon now that we've got all of the goodies that we need. Let's see what, oops, wrong button. I really should get a better grasp on how a keyboard works. Okie dokie, now let's repair this guy. And let's see what it has to say. Unknown signal. There's no signs of life. There's only a static of a broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other un uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. I'll take it, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we'll do it. Okay, uh, it replaces the standard mining beam optics with high grade living uh, glass, allowing the beam to be effective against large and or rare resource deposits. The lens adapts automatically to emit to to minute fluctuations in the beam waveform, minimizing scatter and increasing device mining potential. I swear I can read sometimes when I try hard enough. Um, okay, so am I crafting that? Is that what we're doing? Because I'm all for it. Can I repair this ship someday and like take it as my own or like sell it? Like it's, it's super busted. So it would probably take forever, but like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we need to install the, uh, the, the, the mining laser. Let's plop that bad boy there. And I need a heme, he, her, hermetic, not heme allergic. I've been reading too much of a specific book series where they do heme allergic. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna explain that. And a wiring loom. How do I make one of these? Uh, complete the sub component with one wiring loom. Insert to continue assembly. I. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to make one of those. I'll figure that out. And then carbon nanotubes, which shouldn't be too bad. So, all right, let's see what we need to craft some of this. I need like a notebook next to me to be able to craft some of this. Like these, we should be able to make. Did I need to? Did I forget that fast? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I think I only need it one. So perfect. Uh, hermetic seal, which I just forgot how to craft, but I know I know how to. Can I make one of those? Oh, I should probably not stand in just the middle of a toxic area we'll be fine we'll be fine right let's just recharge our toxic crap and uh go back to crafting i think we should be fine uh hermetic seal i can make one of those perfect so the only thing i need is this and i'm not exactly sure how to make it advanced component status uninstalled insert every subcomponent into the finalized, how do I make a wiring thingy? Can I craft one of those? Do I know how to craft one of those? A few moments later. Can I pin the details here? Oh, purchase it. Gotcha, from the space station trade terminals. Okay, that explains a lot. I should probably start reading more often and make it easier. The, these are like some pretty, pretty wicked beetle flying things. I'm, I want to try to tame one of these. So before we leave this planet, I want to try it out because I, I I tamed one on my other thing. Let's craft some creature pellets and let's go find, not the little guys. I want one of the big ones. Where's, where are the big boys at? I want the big ones. Where are the big beetles at? Because I want to tame one because they look pretty cool. They, they're pretty wicked, these things right here. I don't know what they're called. I forgot that fast. Come back, buddy. Come back down. I just want to talk. I swear. I want to give you something delicious. Come back. I want to feed you something. Yes, offered food. Yay. I've, I've, wait, no, 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 come back. Come back. Can I adopt it? I can gently milk it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at its face. Oh my God. It's such a cute little beetle baby. <laughs> Let's adopt it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, Asanma, Asanma. It's so cute. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, buddy? Where, where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, so cute. He's so cute. It's sad. Come back. Let me pet you. Oh, yes. Let me, let me pet it. Oh, so adorable. Give it a treat. It's so cute. 
I love it. I love it. Can I ride it? Can I fly with it? I can fly. I knew it. Yes. Perfect. I love it. Hello, beetle friend. This is, this is amazing. I now have a new beetle. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so happy. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Can I land it? How do I, how do I land you? Okay, it can move faster. It still takes my health when I make it move faster. Can I make it go up and down? Can, how do I land you? Exactly. Is it, it can I not steer you at all? What is going on? Like, I'm just riding on its back and it does whatever it wants. Is that what we're doing here? Can we go this direction? This, this direction. This, di this direction. Oh, okay, well. Let's not break our ankles. All right, buddy. I'll have to figure out how to ride them or later. Creatures can be fed directly or via creature section in the X menu. Bait thrown from the quick menu will calm predators or angry creatures. Feeding creatures uh, gains their trust and allows them to be mounted or farmed and adopt a creature to gain an animal companion. Alrighty. Well, now we have an animal companion, which I'm excited about. Um, you can have up to six alien creatures as your companions. And we now have one. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him, though, because uh, I don't want him to, I guess, die in space. So we're just going to going to dismiss him for now and uh, go out to space to go back to the station to actually finish our mission instead of just being weirdos with a giant beetle. Incoming message frequency unknown. Artemis entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? What? I'm so confused. What? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis entity? I mean, I want to tell the truth, but like, I don't... I don't know who I am. Am I Artemis? I don't want to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes. A proper introduction to your to our home. Whoa, what the? Signal detected anomaly. Board the anomalous space station. Okay, this looks like the Death Star, but uh, I guess we're doing this. Wow, what a fancy ship. Oh my goodness. This is actually really cool. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this place is pretty wicked. Not gonna lie. Um, you guys have a really cool house. Welcome. Uh, or should I say welcome to me because I can't welcome myself. Who are you? Are you Nada? Uh, you are Aron- Aronne? Exclusive phase rewards earned on expeditions are available to all saves. Collect earned rewards Quicksilver. I'm not done with my expedition yet, but let's talk to this guy. Hello, like traveler. Here you are safe and so very welcome. Good, I'm glad this is not the Death Star. I- whoa. Okay, a perfect fit. This place was designed to receive you. Ask about this place. What? Where am I? Polo and Nada are best equipped to describe this place between places. They are here, not far, just at the top of these stairs. But I mean, I mean it when I say you are perfect fit here. It is not a home for most, but a niche in the stars where you will always be welcome. Okay, um, can I ask about you? I feel rude not. Hello again. Ask why they call you that. Ask about the anomaly. Why they call you what? Oh, the traveler? Uh, yeah, why do, you, why do you call me that? I met so many travelers here, so many faces, yet all of us alike, all lured by the invitation of the stars. We all pilot our ships, our suits along the path that fits each of us best. I remember every like face. You might say I collect them. Even if you change your visage, I will remember you. You have a cat face? Like, it's kind of interesting. All right. Cat dude, thanks for the chat. Let's go check and see who Nada is. 
At least this place is safe. Doesn't really look like it. It does sort of look like an evil lair, but that's fine. Nada, I presume. What's up, dude? Priest Entity Nada. So he's, he's okay. Well, you, I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond Vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time comes and goes. Ask about Nada, ask about Polo, ask about this space station, or ask about Artemis. I want to ask about every single one. Will I have the option to come back and ask all of them? I want to kind of figure out who Artemis is, because this is who apparently has been sending us messages. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you? I do not know their number. Nada does not care it to, to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime, could not understand why such things happened, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The, cor the convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo, friend. Now, now many other viz friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. Nada's carapace pulses with the gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo, friend, found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals. Makes others safe. This station has been calling me. It's calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it is calling to Artemis as well. Ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about the missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay, where's Polo? Oh, is this Polo? Marco Polo? Hello, my friend, specialist Polo. What's up? Friends everywhere. If only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes and sizes, all places. Artemis, friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible. But all things are possible, such as the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends? We all help each other here. Okay, the Space Anomaly is a hub for travelers, a nexus that, that unites them where, wherever they are in the universe. Use Nada and Polo's home to meet other travelers, undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. Speak to other travelers to earn nanites. Ooh, cool. From what I gather, running around the ship, looks like this is like a hub where I can upgrade my like exosuit, my um, my weapons, my ship, my like uh, multi-tool, all of that stuff. Oh my God, cool door here. But um, I don't really have the currency for it right now, uh, which is the nanites. Oh my, what's all of this? This is a cool place, an egg sequester. Hi, whoa, okay. Some stuff here I don't even know. This is Iteration Kronos. You guys have some cool names. But uh, I'm supposed to talk to Helios over here, the Grand Analyst to take a look at what the, oh my god, you're a tree man with glowing, like, branches, but, oh my goodness, you look so cool. Ah, young man, you who still roam the boundaries of the universe, how I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things that I've seen. I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Give it data. Sure, why not? Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all that I have now. Oh, I have more! Look at that, I got 90 more nanites, because I only had like 90 to begin with, and I don't even know where I got those from. The space anomaly, oh yeah, it's a hub where I can get all this stuff, so learn new technology blueprints. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go actually learn some more. So I gotta go back over towards those people who I were talking to before, just to, uh, just to chat with them. And, uh, 
they sell me things, so I don't actually know. Oh, okay, hello. Mission accomplished, what did I get? Hiker, I traveled 30k, all right. That's fine. That's great. What do I get for that? Nothing. So, why are you telling me? It'd be nice if you gave me a prize. But all right, we gotta talk to this guy, the exosuit researcher. So, let's chat with Lizard Man. Traveler knew your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Okie dokie, let's check. So, I just, I can pick whatever? Do I have to pick a specific upgrade? I don't actually know. Like, I can upgrade some of my protections. Um, what does this one do? User is able to swim underwater for- I haven't found a water planet yet, so I don't know if that's really useful. Increases the base capacity of the hazard protection system, allowing the user to spend longer in hazards and environments without recharging their exosuit. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. I've found quite a few hazardous planets that are like, you know, you're running around and your stuff is slowly dying, but I think I- I need that wiring loom. I was- I was going to the place to get the thing and I completely forgot because I got sidetracked by this whole thing, but it's fine, it's fine, we're learning stuff. This increases the capacity of the jetpacks, which I don't use that often. I say if we had to buy one, can we do the hazardous shield stuff? Because I feel like that's- that is, uh, probably something that would be more useful to me. So I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, new technology discovered. So I need sodium nitrate and antimatter in order to actually get it, but I feel like that one might help me the most. I've been running into several, um, like, hazardous planets just so that I don't have to recharge as much. So browse the huge array of base parts. There's base parts. You know me. I love me some base building. How do I install that, though? Because I bought it, yeah? Or do I have to actually, like, craft it? How does that work? Yeah, here we go. Wait, I had more? Okay, I don't have the oxygen for it, but I didn't know I even freaking had another upgrade that I didn't put there yet. Okay, so we got the stuff installed. We just gotta, we just gotta, um, we just gotta get them finalized. I didn't know that I even had a life support system upgrade in here that I had never seen. Unless I wasn't supposed to buy a new upgrade, but just install one. It's cool, whatever, we got new upgrades. Anything we're doing that makes us better is uh, a plus. Oh, wait. I'm walking away from where I'm supposed to be. We're supposed to visit the construction research here. Uh, to unlock a much wider range of base stuff. Ooh, look at this. A cylindrical room. Okay. This is all stuff that I'm super interested in. I'd probably be even more interested in it once I find a place I actually want to make like a big base at. Right now I'm just trying to get through the stuff. Do I need to purchase anything or just look at it? Cause, oh my god, there are cars and stuff, which I did experience slightly in the, um, in the, uh, expedition. It's fun, okay? Uh, I, I definitely want to, like, get an entire planet. Like, I, I definitely want to. White design decal. There's posters. A wall screen. A desk chair. Oh my. Oh my. Ornate stools. Oh my. Step ladders. Spark plugs, lanterns. Okay, you guys, you guys know I'm gonna be diving into all this stuff. I love me some base building. Love me some base building in games. Just trying to get through the like tutorial parts so we can really get into the grind of trying to get some cool stuff. But like, as of right now, I don't want to get too far into base building because I know that I get absorbed into it and we are obviously very, very much not ready for any of this. Not ready for any of this. All right, let's go speak to Artanata about Artemis here. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler and friend? Nada wishes that they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler, entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity, explore with others, travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler entity. We will aid you, otherwise others will aid you. Also, even if you seek the Crimson the crimson Liar? The Crimson Liar? Ask for help with exploration. Now, who was the Crimson Liar? Crimson Liar, Atlas, false entity. Corvax worship, but Nada knows better. Nada knows where it dwells. Nada chooses to disregard it. So it's a false Atlas, the false entity, and the Corvax worship him? But if Traveler Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you to be safe. 
Um, ask for help with exploration or Artemis. Let's uh, ask about Artemis. Of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help, perhaps not. Nada and Polo friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. Okay, so I got, ooh, I got some more nanites. Thank you, Nada, for that. Oh, uh, alone amidst the stars. Return to space to search for clues about Artemis among the stars. Okay, so I guess I've chosen which path I was going to go. I guess I could have done exploration or searching for Artemis. And I guess I chose Artemis, the space anomaly. Continue to search for Artemis. Okay, so I guess I chose to search for Artemis. I'm curious as to who that is anyway. So I'm, I'm, I really want to know. There, so let's go back out into space and let's at least go get the parts we need to finish our upgrade. Because that was something we were going to go do before... We got a little sidetracked um, by the anomaly and our communication call. So let's go at least go find the space station, buy the parts we need if we can afford them so that we can finish our upgrade for our um, mining laser. Oh, incoming message. Is it, is it you, Artemis? Unknown signal. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside it. Something's wrong with... Um, ask what's wrong. I asked the stranger what is wrong. There is a moment's pause, and only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You... you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crash ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found the communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the, anom the an anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Ask where they are. Where are you? Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You t I- It lied to me. It lied to all of- The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on silent before it too fades into nothingness. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. I apologize, by the way, if you hear sounds. They're doing construction around my house because of course they are. And, um, you know, so base computer archives, uh, partially restored. Teleport back, uh, instantly using the space station teleporter or construct a new base for the base computer. All right, I want to go to the space station. Now that we kind of have an objective to go find Artemis, let's, let's get to the space station here. Um, so that we can buy what we need for our upgrade, at least. And then we might, uh, end the episode there because I've been playing for a minute. And the construction's getting louder. <laughs> and, uh, you know. I, I don't want to get too into this. I'm, I'm having a blast, though. For reals. It's getting good. It's getting fun. Hello, triangle. Am I getting shot at? I'm very confused. Was I just getting shot at or was I, like, getting caught in a gravitational pull that I was not aware of? I have no idea what just happened. I heard noises, but I was almost completely distracted. All right, let's dock. We also can use this to teleport back to our base, I believe, so we should be okay. But let's hop out. And I think I need to go to the thing to buy the bot to buy the pieces that I need, right? So let's go check that out in the um the store or whatever up here. Were you shooting at me or something, dude? Huh? Huh? I want to know. Because you were. We can talk outside. We gonna fight in the field. All right. Let's go here. And I need to find these things. I need two of these. And I can't afford them. <laughs> because of course I can't afford them. Oh man, I can only buy one. Okay, well let's buy one, I guess. Um, and I can, I at least have the one. But I'm pretty sure I need it too to finish my, um my multi-tool installation am i wrong there yeah i only have one so we need money 
So either way it goes, I think we're a little bit, uh, a little bit stuck until we can make some more cash. So I think I'm going to leave, uh, leave uh, this, this here for now. Uh, exosuit inventory free slot zero out of twenty five. Purchase additional slots, and I'm out of inventory space because of course I am. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. Been playing for a minute. We made quite a bit of a uh, progress. We're gonna be trying to find Artemis, which should be fun. Um, have no idea what's gonna be happening next, but I'm interested in the story. I'm having a blast playing this game. Uh, so I'm gonna end it here though. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That's up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back. Hello and join me for more No Man's Sky here on the channel. Thanks all. Bye-bye.